So West Palm Beach Airport will get some new updates thanks to millions of dollars from the Biden administration's Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. In total, Florida will get more than $19 billion for infrastructure projects across the state, not including grants. Our Josie Carbonari is at PBIA with how the money is expected to be spent. We just learned Palm Beach International Airport will receive $9 million a year for the next five years. Now that money will be used towards expansion projects. In a press conference with Congresswoman Lois Frankel, she announced the money is a part of investments in aviation programs included in the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act signed by President Joe Biden in November. About $1.2 billion of that will go towards developing infrastructure for airports in the state of Florida. At PBIA, the first projects that will be prioritized will be security checkpoints and concourse connections. They also plan to expand customs facilities and give their terminal an update, which is more than 30 years old. In addition, leaders with the airport say aging infrastructure will be addressed. Tourism is so important for Florida's economy uh, and it's coming back. And so people, you know, a lot of times people decide where to go based on how easy it is to get in and out of an airport. And this money will allow us to expedite all of those projects, so we're extremely excited to receive the funding and to start working on those projects to make the customer experience for our passengers better. We're told another $300,000 a year will go towards Lantana Airport. Reporting from Palm Beach International Airport, Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News.